everyone, it's me Titi and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you my 7 lucky book recommendations. Stop, just shut up. But I couldn't stop really, it's no biggie. Okay, hold on, oh sorry I didn't realise you guys were. Um, why am I wearing glasses? So, first of all, um, guys, I'm going to be telling you guys why you should read. Well, firstly, reading gives you like so much knowledge and it's quite good for when you're really bored. Let's start off with my first book, which is Beyond Clueless, which is not even one of my favourite books. So that was not part of the video. <laughs> be linking down all the books I'm recommending in the description so check that out if you want to get one of these books. The first book is Knots and Crosses. I'll show you pics. So create a mix of emotions like from anxious, scared, anticipation of whether Callum and Steffi will be together. They are like quite contrasting characters because of the hierarchy of the society. And like, despite the odds, they just basically try to be together. It's a lot of conflict, and I don't want to spoil it. Number two, um, I am recommending the Extinction Trials by S. M. Williamson. This is such, 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 such a good book um, because it's like if you like Hunger Games and dinosaurs combined together, you get that book. So if you like Hunger Games, that would be a book perfect for you. I like read it in two nights because I couldn't put it down. Number three is Burn for Burn. So a little bit about it, it's about these three girls who are secretly plotting a revenge on these three boys that all of them hate for different reasons. It's also got like a bit of romance as well, like a bit of it, but like it's mainly drama to be honest and who doesn't love drama? Mummy, go shoot! This is the mummy, not sister. <laughs> mummy, go away! <laughs> Number four is the Never Letting Go Knife. This is for someone who likes um, thriller and adventure and exploring. Basically, every thought that you get, um, everyone can hear. There's like a series of books of it. So if you like something like that, I suggest it to you. Number five. This is my most favourite book. For someone who likes thriller or murder mystery, this is so perfect for you. And someone who likes watching Pretty Little Lies, which is one of my favourite shows too. Okay, a little context for you. It's about how five students, um, they are all in detention and then only four come out. Because one of them, a guy called Simon, had died of an allergy reaction in the water. The police find out that this was not an accident. So immediately all of them become suspect. How all of them, all of the individuals had something to hide. But we don't find out who killed him, obviously, until the end. So leading on to that, another book which you probably will also enjoy, if you enjoyed that one, is Two Can Keep a Secret. This is by the same author of One of His Lies and it is literally just as good. It's such like, um, like you think, like with most mystery solving books or films, you always think it's that person, but then it somehow turns into like that person. That's how I feel like in this book. How this girl, she's called Ellery, I think, that's how you pronounce it. And then she comes into this town um, with her brother and then uh, basically each year the homecoming queen dies. And then that year she was picked. Those girls are really curious about like finding out who things are. So then she like, um, while well, everyone tells her to stay away from this type of stuff, she goes and then tries and get involved. Next book recommendation is The Fault in Our Stars. This made me cry, cry, cry because it's such a good book. It's about like how this girl, she has a condition I think, where she like, she carries like a tube of, um, Oxygen, I think. This has been put in a movie, but obviously the book's better. And then, um, yeah, it's about how she meets this guy and then he's like the new bright source of her, like, like why she's still living and then just see how them two fallen in love and then something bad happens, but I won't tell you. You can try and read it. And that's it on the book recommendation. I hope you found one of the books at least interesting or at least you would want to read. And please stay safe um, during this pandemic and I'll see you guys next week. Toodaloo!